Hey guys, welcome back to Carly's Creations. I'm Carly, and today we're going to work on a peekaboo tumbler. I've had this cup up on my site for a little while. I did it a while ago because I got this really awesome glitter and I just, of course, I had to try it, right? So I just, I kind of glittered the cup and I just put it on the site just to see if there was any interest in it. There wasn't anything special about it. It was kind of plain, um, but I know not everyone likes a very elaborate tumbler. So needless to say, it didn't sell which I kind of figured. So I'm going to spruce it up a little bit and you're gonna help me. So I got this beer stein from Walmart and this is our sea glass, which is a really beautiful blue-green color shift, um, kind of a medium chunky here. And so because it reminds me so much of the ocean, we're gonna do some peekaboos with turtles and a beach, um, decal here. So I'm going to blot on some alcohol inks and we're just going to try to make this cup a little bit more fun. So help me out. Let's get started. Okay. I'm so excited to get started on this. So our cup is already ready to go and sanded. So our first step here is going to be our weeding. And so I'm going to get my tweezers, my silicone ring, and my images that I have printed out just on scrap vinyl. Um, that I keep in like a little bin just for pieces like this. That way I'm not wasting full sheets of vinyl. So I always use the Oracle 651 and I know it's a permanent vinyl, but it's not going to be on the tumbler very long. So I never have an issue as far as removing it. If you have temporary, that's usually better, but if not, the permanent one will work fine. And uh, just make sure, like I said, you're not leaving it on your tumbler very long. So these tweezers really come in handy, and I'm telling you guys, these are a game changer for getting all these little pieces out. It just it makes it easier, and then the little ring catches all those little pieces. So these are my two favorite little weeding tools that you can find on my website. So we're just going to go ahead and get these images all ready to get on our cup, and we'll move on to the next step. So this is the other part of our Beach Life uh, decal here. Sorry, <laughs> little mental block there. So I did speed up this part of the video because there's so many tiny little pieces and it would take probably about 10 minutes if you actually sat and watched me in real time. So obviously this is sped up a little bit just for the sake of the video. Okay, our next step here is we're going to get our transfer paper and you're just going to push down really hard making sure that you have all of those little pieces from your image pressed onto that transfer paper and then just very carefully pulling the back off. I kind of pull it a little bit of an angle. Um, it just kind of helps pull it off. So as long as you have pushed it on there, fine, you shouldn't have any issues. So we're gonna go ahead and put that at the very top of our cup here. And for the most part, I get it on pretty well. There's a couple little creases that obviously aren't ideal, but because it's a peekaboo tumbler, you're never gonna be able to tell that there was actually creases in the vinyl. So obviously if we were just putting this decal on, we wouldn't want those creases, but usually if it's a little tiny crease here and there with the peekaboo design, you don't, you, you aren't able to notice. So. Don't worry too much about that if that happens to you. I kind of just push it down. Um, you just want to make sure it's pushed down really well so when you go to spray paint your cup, that spray paint doesn't get under the image there. And then once we get this one on, we're going to put the turtles on the back and we're just going to have those turtles kind of wrap around uh, from like the bottom kind of going up to the top. And you'll kind of notice my cup rolls a little bit. And if you've seen my other videos, since we've moved to Tennessee, our house is very old and not even, so I need to build one of those little PVC pool noodle cup holder <laughs> contraptions here to hold my cup still. So forgive the rolling cup, but we do get those turtles on.
Okay, so once we get these on, I'm going to take my cup outside and I'm going to spray it with a flat white spray paint. I always use the Rust-Oleum brand and I think I ended up doing about three coats just to make sure that our whole cup is completely covered in the white spray paint. And then it's time for alcohol inks. So now is when the fun really begins. And as you can see, I did speed up this portion of the video a little bit just because this part is so time consuming. So... I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol, two brushes, and our alcohol inks here. And all these colors will be in the description below linked for you. So I ended up not using the silver. I just stuck with the blues and the greens just to stay with the whole ocean thing. But I wasn't sure. So I had it out just in case. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put some of our ink on the cup. And then I'm going to dip my brush into the alcohol ink. And then just kind of spread it around a little bit. And... I'm not going to lie, the cup kind of looks like a hot mess at first, <laughs> so bear with me. It gets better. I promise you guys it gets better. So my main objective right now is to just get these colors on the cup, and then I'm going to go back in between with my brushes and just kind of move that ink along. You'll see um, on the next little part of the video here. So bear with me. I promise it, it doesn't come out too <laughs> hideous here, but... For a while, it's like, oh boy, what are we doing here? So I pro promise, stay with me, stay with me. We're we're going to get this done, but um, we're just getting all these colors on here now, and then we'll start to get in designing on those. Yeah, you remember this hot mess part I was talking about? So this is kind of where it's starting to look more of a hot mess. But as these colors start to blend and we start to really pull in that alcohol, that rubbing alcohol, our colors are going to kind of move and we're going to create these kind of circles. I'm trying to go for water is my goal here. And so we're going to use a decent amount of the rubbing alcohol on our brush here. And I'm going to soak my brush and I kind of just push, well not push, rest my brush is a better word, onto the ink and you'll see how it kind of moves out and away and it creates these darker lines and so I kind of just, I'm just playing around with it and in all reality I probably could have sat there for like two hours just moving the inks around till you know I really got the look that I wanted but um, the more I started to move inks around the more it started to resemble water and not so much lines, but it's a really fun and different way to kind of play around with your alcohol ink. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. And um, so just have fun with it. And I am using 70% um, for the alcohol ink. So it's not the 91%. And I just found it at a local, I think it was Walgreens I grabbed it at, and it worked just fine for me. So um, we're just going to kind of keep messing with this until we get that look that we want. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the peekaboo. We're going to remove the vinyl. So I let my cup dry 
after I've done with the ink for about 15 to 20 minutes just so it's dry to the touch and I'm going to very very carefully use my exacto knife here just to kind of start pulling up the edges of the vinyl and I go between my tweezers and my exacto knife to pull up all the vinyl for our turtles and our decal on the other side just be really careful Take your time, go slowly so your knife doesn't slip. That's the worst part when your X-Acto knife slips and you end up getting like a line through your paint because it slipped. So just don't worry about rushing. Take your time and um, it looks really cool and it's very therapeutic, I think. I find, I find it very satisfying to pull off these vinyls. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right, so we're just about done with the images here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling this off and then we're ready for epoxy. Okay, so we're almost done. On this step right here, what we're gonna do is I did let my cup sit and dry completely overnight for my inks. And so we're going to add just a very thin coat of epoxy. And I decided to add some silver leaf flakes to this. I just thought it would add some really kind of fun uniqueness and character to the cup. So I am using the counterculture epoxy here. And like I said, it's a very thin coat. And this is primarily to just get our flakes to stick onto our tumbler. And I'm going to use my tweezers and just very carefully, one at a time, kind of pull those out of my cup and place them on to my tumbler here. And then I just use my tweezers and just kind of pat them down and get them as flat as possible. That way when I go to do my next and hopefully final coat of epoxy, I don't have them, they're not sticking out or anything like that. So I'm just gonna add them in random spots. There's no rhyme or reason. There's, I mean, nothing, you just, I'm just randomly going to place a few of them on there and I'm not going to do too many. I think I only end up doing maybe five or six, but just enough to add just a little extra touch of character on here. Um, and then once we get that on, we'll do one more coat of epoxy and 
we are done with our tumbler. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I really had fun with it. Alcohol inks can be such a fun way to create different art and to really get some different looks. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know below. And I hope you can join us over on Facebook at Carly's Creations Tumblers and more. And we'll see you on the next video.